Hi and welcome to this video. In this particular video, we are going to be looking at the Finvest stock screener and we'll see how we can basically look at multiple charts in one go. We can quickly glance through multiple charts to identify opportunities uh, that we can use for our trading and investment decisions. Uh, before we proceed, uh, that's the disclaimer as usual. Uh, I'm just going to be sharing my knowledge. My The information that I'm going to be sharing with you is based on my experience and it is not any kind of investment or trading advice. So without any further delays, let's get started. So let's go to the Finvis platform itself and we'll see how we can use that platform to view all the charts in one go. So this is the Finvis platform. I'll leave a link in the description. You can try out the free version and if you like, you can sign up for the elite version which gives more features. Um, so I personally, uh, when I'm looking at a watch list of 40, 50 stocks, I personally uh, want to quickly glance through those 40, 50 stocks to see what kind of chart patterns have recently formed and uh, how the pattern is basically looking like. But one thing that I don't like uh, with a lot of other platforms is if I need to key in the uh, ticker every time and then basically display one chart at a time. So if, you, if you've seen a lot of platforms, you need to key in every ticker and then the chart is displayed there. So if you're trying to go through 40, 50 charts, you basically don't want to be doing that. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, platforms... Uh, allow this feature that you can scroll through a list you can just keep uh, pressing the down arrow key uh, uh, and and you can move from one stock to the next and automatically the charts update but finvis goes one step ahead and basically it gives me an option to view all the charts uh, or at least 10 15 20 charts in one go on one screen so that i can quickly take a look at them i can compare two or more charts if i need to and then decide which of these are actually forming a pattern or, or my technical analysis indicates that uh, these are charts worth further investigation. So then I can open those particular tickers in detail and then I can look at the detailed charts. So we'll see how we can do that in Finvis. Let's go to the screener tab first. So under the screener tab, uh, you can see that a lot of options are there. So I'm just gonna set up uh, some filter to display about 20, 30 uh, stocks. And then we'll see how we can look at all the 30 charts in parallel. So uh, one of the screener that I frequently use is to see uh, uh, essentially the stocks uh, which are trading, which, which basically have a price under $50. So let's say you have a small trading account. You obviously do not want to concentrate your portfolio on a single stock and buy shares which are like at 200 300 dollars a share so um, i now i have listed stocks which are under 50 dollars and let's say i want to bring it from uh, only the companies which are listed in the united states and i also want them to be part of the index uh, so s p 500 index so now you can see it's a very simple filter and, and the the objective of this video is not to tell you the filter settings it is to basically tell you the feature that you can view multiple charts in parallel at the same time. So I have 102 tickers which are coming up. Now let's say I want to quickly glance through these uh, charts and I want to basically uh, make a decision. So all I need to do is I need to go to the chart steps. You can see here on every page I have 20 uh, tickers listed and because there are 102 tickers there are this information is being listed in a total of six pages. So I, what I can do is I can just click on charts here and when I do that, now you can see that these charts are loaded uh, here. And again, now I'm looking at 10 charts on the same page. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 12 charts are being listed on the same page. So this gives a very easy way to quickly glance through these charts. And right now, you can see that the technical is selected here. So all these technical lines, everything is being displayed here. Now, personally, I don't need these trend lines because I just want to see the support and resistance levels and uh, th those I can see visually. So I don't need the technical details. So I can go to a simple candlestick chart. Th these are also candlestick charts, but they are with the technical details. Now you can see the technical indicators are gone. And now on the same screen, I have much more number of charts. One, two, three, four on every row. And I have three, four, five, six rows. So now you can see I can see 24 charts on the same screen and I can quickly glance through them without any kind of a trouble. 
and any chart that I want to see in detail, let's say I'm interested in looking uh, in detail at the American Airlines chart, then I can just open it in the new tab and I will get a detailed chart here. So here again, I can look for uh, an advanced chart, a line chart. I can choose the weekly time frame or the monthly time frame, whatever way I want to analyze, I can look at it in more details. And if I scroll down, I can get more details around this particular stock. So this is one way of uh, doing things. But uh, personally, in my opinion, this uh, display of multiple charts is really, really helpful because uh, if you have 30, 40, 50 tickers, you just want to scroll through them seamlessly one after the other. This is this is very easy uh, using this particular platform and this feature which is available here. Now one more thing is you don't have to just worry about the filter. So let's uh, reset everything. Let's say you have your own watch list and that watch list is in your Excel file, a spreadsheet, somewhere you've saved it and you have a list of uh, stocks that you want to be viewing. So what you can do is uh, this works directly in Excel. So you can just copy the all the stocks and you can list them out like I have this list being displayed here, right? So I have listed a couple of stocks here, which basically are uh, uh, from one of my watch lists. And now these stocks are all the tickers are separated by a space. And all I have to do is I have to click this arrow button and you will see that all these symbols which are here are now available here. So there were 27 symbols that I had listed here. And now these 27 symbols are being displayed here. And again, if I want to look at all the charts in one go, I can just go and click on the charts uh, tab. And what that does is it by default displays the technical charts. Now I can change it to candle. So the technical charts are gone. And now you can see I had 27 tickers out of which 24 are straight away listed here. So this is a very, very easy way. I can quickly glance if let's say I'm, I'm looking for a head and shoulder pattern then I can quickly put these 24 symbols in here and then I can quickly glance through them and see where is a head and shoulders pattern available or not. Now obviously there is a filter but those filters are more uh, I mean there is a technical filter uh, available in Finviz which allows you to look for the head and shoulder pattern but those are then system identified. If you want to specifically look for certain patterns uh, which uh, are more uh, detectable using your naked eye then I would recommend that you uh, use this feature so I can quickly glance through the charts and then based on this whatever decision I need to make I can make those and uh, the 24 first 24 charts are displayed here uh, uh, and, and this way I can scroll to the I can go to the next page and the remaining three because we totally had 27 symbols so now the last three are being displayed here. So this is a very easy and convenient way to glance through multiple charts in no time. And then wherever needed, you can obviously uh, uh, open up more details as I have opened up here. And then you can go through the charts in more details wherever needed. So this saves a lot of time. And uh, the good thing about is uh, this uh, is that if you want to, let's say, do this exercise every day all you have to do is just copy this link and save it somewhere so let's say i'm opening a new window and i just bring in this link you will see that automatically the link has all the information to extract so you don't have to put the settings again and again had i selected a few filters here those would also come up in the link so you don't have to uh, do this again and again in fact the link was copied when i was at page two so it's directly displaying page two I can obviously then click back to page one and I can see the same information again. So these are all shortcuts. They save a lot of time. Uh, if you're trying to do this analysis every single day, this is a very, very convenient way. And uh, other platforms provide this feature, but I have not seen platforms uh, providing this kind of a feature where you can kind of look at 24, 25, 24 charts in, in one go, or you can look at the technical charts, 12 of them in one go. So this really saves me a lot of time. Uh, it lets me narrow down to the actual stocks that I want to focus on for further analysis and I can get done with it in minutes. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful and if you did, please uh, leave a comment and uh, your suggestions are most welcome. If you need any further information uh, or, or if you want me to create a video on any specific topic, uh, please let me know. Your comments are most welcome. 
and uh, they go a long way in giving the necessary encouragement for me to continue with this uh, series uh, thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next video thank you